Hey guys. So what we have here today is a 25th anniversary Pokemon celebration uh, pack that I was able to snag from Carson Target. Um, I happened to stop by there. The lady was stocking the shelf uh, right when I got there. So I went ahead and picked some up. This is just the first pack that I, I picked up. Again, this is the Pikachu uh, package. I do want to note that I, I was not aware of this, but there's actually two different versions of this box. This happens to be the larger version, uh, and this contains the play mat, which I'm interested to see what that looks like. There is a smaller version that does not have the play mat. Um, so why don't we get into it? So, love the box, love the gold and the white design um, with the Pikachu uh, 25th logo in the, up in the corner. So, let's see. Dig right into it. All right, so. First thing I'm seeing is this play mat comes out from the back side of the packaging. It's tucked in right behind inside this little nook here. So let's open that up. I'm going to put this off on the side real quick. Here's the play mat. When we open this up, Oh wow, look at that. It's got the 25th anniversary Pikachu logo um, train on with his tail. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's some faint uh, Pokemon silhouettes. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, well, let's leave this here and let's continue on with the unboxing. We can kind of see uh, what else is in this box. So let's bring this box back in. Immediately what I, I, I notice is this little um, uh, raised Pikachu logo. So you can kind of see it's uh, the 25th anniversary logo. So they really do use that logo throughout the packaging. Uh, but it's a really cute logo. So. Um, when we take off this plastic, by the way, this packaging is really thorough. Everything's got a place and it's held in pretty well. First thing I notice is these cards are packaged right into the slid. So let's go ahead and dig into those. Let's take a look. So you can see there's four Pikachu cards. These four Pikachu cards, when uh, put together, should actually make this bigger card that's in this kit, this package as well. So you can see how they're very similar. Um, you just have the larger card, full-size card. There's the back of it. So it just looks like a really uh, large Pokemon card see all the holographic on it. That's pretty cool. This is the v, v Union, sorry, V Union card of the Pikachus. And what that is is when you get all four of these together. This is the V Union broken up into four smaller cards. So let's see, how do we Pop this out. There's one card. There's another card. We have our trainer card that comes with the kit. And it's also got the 25th anniversary logo in that corner there. It's pretty cool. Put that on the side. And 
And let's complete this union, V union of Pikachus. That's pretty cool when it's put together. And when you look at it, it should look identical to the large card. So let's look at each of these cards on its own. That's got some nice colors to it, especially with that holographic. I love the, the edging on it. This pearlized black edge to it is a nice touch. All right, so that's the bottom right. Here's the bottom left card. Look at the upper right corner, or upper left, I'm sorry. And it's nice seeing all the different versions of Pikachu on the card. Let's see, if we can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, and then here's the last card. Including the V union. And again, you still see the 25th anniversary logo in the bottom corner. That's pretty awesome. So it comes with the four cards. Again, for the V union, when one out together, it, it makes this larger card version. You can see some of Pikachu's eyes are holographic as well. Okay, so let's stick that off on the side. It does come, like most uh, packs, uh, with this QR code that you can go online. Get some more information online. And then the Professor card as well. All right, so let's bring this back in. And we're gonna focus on this left side because there's several packs that come in this this uh, kit. You can see it's actually got uh, what looks like six of these celebration packs. So let's take these out of the tray. So there's the six celebration. Each of these packs have uh, four cards in it, um, and they're specifically meant for the 25th anniversary. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of cards we're gonna get, but we'll dig into that here shortly. I'm gonna put this on the side. Let me pull out the rest of the, the cards from uh, the pack, and let's get into it. Oh, cool. So we have some Sword and Shield. We have a Vivid Voltage pack here. The Battle Style Sword and Shield pack. And then we also have a Chilling Rain Sword and Shield pack as well. And these are booster packs, so each one of these should come with 10 cards in it. Okay. Let's put that on the side. All right, so in all there is the three um, standard pack booster packs, and then we have six uh, booster packs from the celebration itself. So we have nine packs to get into. Let's get started. Okay, we'll start with the, the non-celebration packs. 
Um, I want to save the best for last. So let's go ahead and open up this ch Chilling Rain booster pack. Again, 10 cards in each of these. Um, I did already um, find some of these packs just as on its own in the stores beforehand. So I, I actually have some of these cards already. Hopefully I, I don't get any dupli duplicates out of these packs. But we'll find out. Ooh, this one's really tight in there. All right, first, first card we have, Blitzel. So I do know I actually have Blitzel already, but that's okay. As some of you guys know, I, I'm doing this mostly for my niece and nephew, trying to get them um, motivated to, to read and, and get really involved in practicing some different skill sets like uh, sharing. Um, we've been trading a lot, so this will be a good card to trade with them. We have Ghastly here. I'm not sure if I have Ghastly. That's a good card. Coughing. Delibird. Now I know my niece has already traded me Delibird, so I do have him. Uh, maybe I can trade with my nephew. Farfetched. That's a good one. Now this is a Pokemon on, uh, must be a newer one. I'm not familiar with him. Kabfu. It's also a, a very uh, holographic shiny card. So hopefully you guys can see some of that detail in there. Zebstrika. Now this looks like the evolved form of maybe Blitzel. We got an energy card here. That's a, a trainer card, Honey. Now I think I have a Honey. She looks familiar. Drizzle. Looks like he's surfing there. Got another trainer card here. And then our QR code. So again, we could take this, uh, scan it, go on the website, get some more information and a little bit more goodies online. All right, let's put this pack on the side. Again, 10 cards. Let's go into this Battle Styles pack. And let's open this guy up. These also don't feel like they've been resealed. I know that's kind of a common concern among uh, Pokemon card buyers right now, is looking for the resealed packages. Uh, these definitely don't feel like they've uh, been altered with. We have a man key here. Mawili. I think I'm saying her name wrong, but I'm not claiming to be a Pokemon expert. Oh, this one's cute. Fomantis. I think my niece will like her. Remor Raid. Almost looks like a dolphin with a kind of blowing a st st stick up in the air. Huh. It's an 
interesting card there. Spiro. A simple peck move. Look at that. No description needed. Houndor. Ooh, and he is a slightly uh, shiny. This lighting's not doing it justice like the other card, but he is slightly uh, shiny there. Not sure how you say this Pokemon's name. This also looks like a newer uh, Pokemon than what I'm familiar with. Got an energy card here, water. Oh, I've never heard of this guy before. Buffalant. Oh man, beastly. Got an urn of vitality. Great if you're going to play the game. Not quite there yet. We're just at the point of just looking and collecting cards. Spewpaw? And then again, the QR code. All right, so the second pack is done. Put this off on the side and let's get to this last booster pack. Uh, Vivid Voltage. Love the Pikachu on it. Goes well with the Pikachu pack that we're, we're unboxing right now. So when we open this up, let's see if we get any nice shiny cards up to the collection. I'm going to pull this QR code off to the side. We've already gone through that a couple times. We have a Choodle. Oh, I think I have this Pokemon. Riolu. An Eevee. My niece loves Eevee, so this is a great card for her. A Drillber. A Clefairy. I don't have a Clefairy, so this is a nice addition to my collection. I do like Clefairy. It's a cute Pokemon. We have Beauty the Trainer, and this is one of those shiny holographic cards. Executor. Now if you guys are in the Carson area, uh, it does smell outside, so be careful. Actually made the news. Maybe Executor got loose. Got some energy. We have the giraffe. Another trainer, Alistair. That one's kind of creepy. Great for Halloween. Very gothic looking. And the Cramorant. Looks like it's enjoying a dinner there. Goes well with the gulp missile move. That makes sense. All right, so that that's it for these packs. Got some good cards there, some that I, I haven't had before, but these are the ones that I'm most excited about. These celebration packs. And again, there's only four cards there's some pretty special uh, holographic shinies, so hopefully maybe in one of these we can get lucky. So let's dig right into it. Our first pack. First thing you notice, 
25th anniversary logo. Thoroughly used throughout the packaging, so well represented. We do have a shiny. It is slightly shiny. Oh, oh, they're they're kind of all shiny. That is really cool. Okay, so let me hide the rest of the cards. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Yevtol? But you can see how it's holographic in its picture. We have a Cosmog. Oh, he looks so sad. And that's also a very uh, holographic picture there. There you kind of see it there. We have a shiny Blastoise. It's got a nice uh, little fat background effect to it. And we did get lucky. We did get one of the Pikachus. Oh my god, it's a flying Pikachu! Looks like it's inspired from up. It's got a lot of balloons tied to the back of him and he's flying through the air. How awesome is that? That is completely lucky on the first pack. And again, you can kind of, you can kind of see the edging. Let's see if we can get in there. It's got the holographic black edging to the card. Adds a nice touch to the actual image and card itself. And then QR code. So we're gonna put that on the side. We don't we don't need that. So that just happens to be the first pack. Let's hope the second pack yields similar results for us. Yeah? All right, let's dig into this one. Pack number two of the celebration packs. Ooh. Another slightly holographic background to that Pokemon card here. We have another Cosmog. So our first duplicate in the Celebration series. We have a... This is a very interesting shiny card. It's Dawn fan bit. It's got the holographic edging to it. But even the picture seems to be like texturized. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's texturized. That's pretty cool. And then the last card. Oh, I feel like this should have been like a really fancy shiny card. Soga Leo. It's got just a, a shine to that background. It's not really holographic. But you could definitely see that shine there. The light. That's pretty cool. So that's uh, four cards from the second pack. We've got four more packs to go. Hopefully we get another Pikachu card. Those Pikachu cards are adorable. And I know there's a couple different variations, so I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, we, we get lucky and we get a, at least a second one here. 
So pack number three. Oh, we have another duplicate here. Palkia. I guess all the cards are going to be kind of shimmery in some aspect in these packs because this one's got another shimmery background to it. One thing for sure, they all have the 25th anniversary logo. Every single one of these celebration packs. Ho oh, oh! Ooh, that looks good in that light right there. Man, that just pops with that background. And then let's, the last card, fingers crossed. We got another Pikachu! Yay! We got the surfing Pikachu here. I don't know, you really can't tell he's surfing, but he's completely adorable. So let's get in closer. Can you guys see his moves down here? Kind of look for that surfboard. Just a quick note, that little pink thing is the surfboard down there. When you look at the grand scheme of the card, it's so small. You barely even notice that that's the surfboard. Let's see. Kind of see it there. So we got lucky. We got our second Pikachu, and it's a different Pikachu. One of our celebration packs. So we got the flying Pikachu, and we got our surfing Pikachu so far. We got three more packs, so hopefully maybe we can get lucky and get another one. Yeah, so this will be our fourth celebration pack out of this uh, entire Pikachu premium collection. Open this up. Missed a card in here, so let's see. Oh, it's a QR code. I'll put that on the side. And ta -na, na na. I am not familiar with this Pokemon. Xerneas. Looks like a magical looking deer. Looks like a bird of paradise on the back of the character. Yevtol? Is this the same one that we got in the other pack? I believe so. You can kind of see the, the lighting changes it up right in this part of the image. kind of cool. We have an Umbreon. A shiny one. You almost can't tell it's an Umbreon because it's just so black. Um, when it's on a, a darker background, you can kind of see it here. You almost miss it, but that is, that is really cool. And then we have another Solgaleo. They got some hard tongue twister names. I don't know how they expect five, six year olds to, to be reading these names so easily. All right, so that's uh, the four cards. Oh, I just noticed Umbreon has that texture to the body. You can kind of see the shimmer there. So 
that's another one of those slightly textured cards. So that's our, our four cards. That's four packs down. We still have two more celebration cards. We have eight more cards that we're gonna get from the celebration packs. Um, we have already gotten quite a few duplicates, so hopefully we can stay away from the duplicates. We can get some more original, uh, unique cards to add to the collection. Fingers crossed, right? All right. First out, it is something we have not opened yet. Russian Ram. Huh. Looks related to the Zekrom. They both have this thing coming out the back side of the character. Makes me think these two might be somehow related. Again, haven't really been following Pokemon, just getting back into it, so. Got this guy again. I think this might be our third one. So my niece and nephew will be happy. They'll each get a copy of this card. And our last card out of the pack. Oh, we have a Pikachu. It is another version of the flying Pikachu. So you can see all those balloons in the background. But this is a different version of it. It's got a plane. See the plane there. Here's the Pikachu with the balloons. So that this is actually apparently the evolved version of the first flying Pikachu we opened. So here's the flying Pikachu. And then this is the flying Pikachu V Max, which is evolved from our first guy. Completely lucky to get that. Here. All right, so then that is our four cards for that fifth pack. And let's move on to the last pack here. This is going to be the last celebration pack. Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can get uh, another Pikachu out of this. Uh, we do have the Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Maybe we can get the Surfing Pikachu um, level one. Alright, here we go. So we have this guy. We have Palkia. So this is going to be a duplicate. We already saw him in one of the earlier packs. And then we have Cosmo M. He evolves from Cosmog. So we, we did get a Cosmog earlier. So this is the evolved Pokemon. So at least we got one new one. Oh, and we have a shiny professor research card. How cool is that? Professor Oak. It is super shiny. So that that's it for the entire package. We have our 
six celebration packs. We've out of the six, we were lucky enough to get three of the special Pikachu cards. Um, we did get this really cool um, Professor Oak card out of the celebration. And we got some new cards from the, the booster pack. Um, not to downgrade those, those are pretty awesome. Those are always awesome to go through. And then we, we did get our Professor Burnett card. We did get our V Union cards for Pikachu. So we have the four cards that combine will make the larger Pikachu card that came in the pack. And we also got this nice play mat to complete the set. So that's a pretty good set. Again, I, I was lucky enough to find it at the Carson Target. Um, the set, I believe, was $40, um, but it's, it's well worth it. I mean, these cards are super unique um, for the celebration. Uh, I don't think they still have inventory. They were going pretty quickly when I was there and I just happened to be the the second person to walk up while um, the rep was stocking the shelf. So I'd be surprised if there's still any more packs there, but give it a shot. My recommendation, uh, call around. I did call a couple stores uh, to find out whether or not they received inventory and what I was told was it was going to be a very select number of stores receiving a small inventory. Um, the Carson Target was stocking at the time when I found it um, in the toy section, um, but normally they have cards up in the front. What I understand was the rep was holding half of the inventory and did stock the front of the store. Now, one thing um, that particular Target has is they do have a limit of two uh, Pokemon items per customer. So if you're planning on going there uh, to buy more than two items, make sure you take someone with you. Uh, that's my recommendation. I just happened to get lucky uh, right when they were stocking. So uh, keep an eye out. I got more, uh, more videos to come. Let me know what your thoughts are, which card is your favorite from the celebrations uh, in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.